We are currently trying to wrangle this week's studio guest. <laughs> it is that time where we introduce you to our furry friend, looking for a forever home, a very lovable dog this morning. Bach is his Bach. name, and he is a mix, mixed breed. <laughs> mixed, mixed, yes. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about him. So Bach is Luisa's brother Which that we I had, had on just a couple a weeks, couple ago. weeks yeah. ago, and he is... Down on the floor right <laughs> they, now. They are um, owner surrenders, so there were the two of them. They just didn't get a lot of attention. They're really full of love, and they're very um, agreeable. They what? just don't know a lot. What kind of property did Bach come from? Was it a large property or something maybe uh, in a residential area? I don't know. Okay. Because he's a pretty big dog. He needs some space. He needs some space. He's a little bit of a beefcake. Yeah. It's a good way to describe him. He's so sweet. <laughs> and he's so sweet. And you mentioned you he's got different breeds in him because you actually did a DNA test yes. on him. Wow. So um, what is he? So I'd have to look up the percentages to be correct, but he is lab, German Shepherd, Husky, and a little bit of Pit. Which you can see it in yes. him. He definitely has all that. <laughs> There's his face. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. We're getting him on camera so cute. now. And uh, he does slobber a little bit, so yeah. that's nothing that we can't handle. So yeah. you know, just have your vacuum cleaner as well, because he does shed a little bit. But that that's just means he's that ready to play. He's ready, ready to play. Ready. What kind of home um, do you think he would be best suited in? He would be good with everybody. His foster has kids. He's good with other dogs. He really. I, we just don't know if he's good with cats, but he's so good and so sweet and gentle hearted. Oh look, there he goes. He's I, getting that camera oh, time. Oh, he knows. <laughs> but I really think he would be good in almost any situation that you put him in. He's so overly kind he just needs probably some space because yeah. i mean you probably can't tell on camera but he's a pretty big dog uh-huh uh, and you said he's about what nine months he's old? about nine months old so he's still kind of in that puppy yeah. phase and he's gonna i mean he's pretty full but he may fill out just a little <laughs> bit more um but he's just he's so eager to love and be loved and that is just so endearing about him because when i drove here i had to keep him in his seat he wouldn't stop outside. He just wants to, he just needs a hug so bad. And it's so sweet. Um, but he is, he does drool, but he does come with the pet food center pack oh, that comes out now. Yes. So he would come with the nature's miracles. So you could clean up any Aww. messes that he makes if he drooled and, He's such a and good made boy. a little bit of a slobbery mess. Yes, you're such a good boy. He's a good boy. And so what events do you guys have coming up? So tomorrow we have a give a do uh, an event at Give a Dog a Bone, and that is over on Virginia. They are just a specialty pet food center. Mm -hmm. Not a specialty pet food center, but uh, yeah, essentially they're a specialty pet food store. Um, they are w always willing to help us so often yeah. with opening up their doors to us, and they have a nice, large, open facility mm -hmm. there. Um, and then we also are in dire need of money because the community has been so wonderful in expanding and opening up their homes to us. We've got more fosters than we've ever had before. That's wonderful. We've got more dogs than we've ever had before. And with that comes the need for more money. So we are definitely in the need of more money for vets. We have a vet shortage in the area. Mm -hmm. And with so many surrenders and so many animals that are coming from animal control, we are really in dire straits of money. So on our Facebook page, there is a QR code, and we just asked all of our followers to give us a dollar. And that goes to your goes Venmo? Directly, yeah, it goes to our Venmo. Okay. Um, and it is, we just asked for a dollar, because if everyone gave a dollar, it would fix so many animals. And a dollar mm -hmm. goes far if you guys know how to it properly does. spend it. Yes, and we spend our money very conscientiously. We have a lot of assistance through our vet programs in the area. And what other supplies are you maybe in need of? Maybe um, if you know, aside from money, mm -hmm. that you guys probably need. We uh, well, it's puppy season and it's kitten season, so oh. we are going to need some potty pads. Um, they are. <laughs> it's like he's already there. Green grass. Pad. He's probably he's trying to go over there to Come see Griffin. That's the uh, stompy grounds of one. Oh well, Griffin the dogs do love over Griffin. There. So watch your feet over there, Griffin. <laughs> um, but we <laughs> do need. We need. Pets, food, we need it. dogs, we need leashes, oh, collars. He's, he's, he's a oh, little bit of a beefcake. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> on a trail road here. But, and if we, we're, we're doing pretty good. And where can they, be, they drop those things off at um, if someone has extra supplies? You can always drop it off at the Pet Food Center. You can message us on our Facebook Which page. Which location? Um, any location. Okay. All of the locations have a box available. Okay. And it's a big like a fall festival because there's one box. on the west side there's one on the east side mm -hmm. and then i think there's one in newburgh, we have one as, in well. newburgh as well so uh -huh. a lot of different locations I, mean, I tell you what this this dog is great you know why with kids i can already tell if you if you <laughs> you know have children you you get stuff on the floor a lot of times and 
Of course, they eat their dinner or snacks, and then he cleans it right up. Cleans it right up off the floor. Yeah. Not a thing is missing. There's a little vacuum. He's just so snuggly. He wants. I mean, I, I know I shouldn't put my face in a dog's face, but I absolutely am going to, and I've done it many times with him already. Now, give us some background. <laughs> Excuse me. I apologize. Um, on some of the other uh, animals we've had here in the past, and if uh -huh. they found a home or not. Well, Louisa, which is his sister, has not been adopted yet. Okay. We've had fantastic, uh, right now, of the animals that I've brought recently, of course we have him, so we can take some applications on him. We have Louisa, and we have the, the big beefcake that I brought a few weeks ago. Okay, but other than um, that, pretty successful. Everyone else that we've had That's such amazing. beautiful success that is amazing. with our program. Wonderful. Jen, thank you so much for coming in today. And Bach, we hope you get your home. And uh, if you're interested, you can always find more on our website, wevv.com. We'll send things over to Griffin Glasscock. All right, everybody.